viewers welcome to ar2 tv this is open heavens outline segment i'm die home nanshad the topic for today is the compassionate prosecutor the compassionate prosecutor and the bible reading is taken from the book of john chapter 16 verse 7 to 11 john 16 verse 7 to 11 our memory verse can be found in the book of John chapter 16 verse 8. John chapter 16 verse 8. The word of the Lord says, And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. When he comes, he will reprove the world of, of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Now from the outline, you may begin to wonder how a person can prosecute a case and be compassionate. How can somebody prosecute a case and be compassionate at the same time? This is ironic because a prosecutor is expected to praise the case for the law to have its full course on what is at hand. So who then is this prosecutor? Who are we talking about who manages to indict and show compassion all at the same time? Now from where we read today, the Lord Jesus Christ answered this question in today's memory verse. The person of the person he refers to is the person of the Holy Spirit. Let us consider three strategies by which the Holy Spirit does this assignment. There are three ways that the Holy Ghost does this same assignment. Number one, it is compassion that motivates the Holy Spirit to prosecute the world while there's still time to amend. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 talks more about that. The world needs to be aware of the destructive nature of sin and cause each one to run away from it. This is why those who preach the gospel must allow the Holy Spirit to use them, must allow the Holy Spirit to, to, to interpret things, to interpret the riot act, to their audience or to their own congregation and not to shy away from the reality of the impending doom that awaits humanity. Acts of Apostles chapter 2 verse 37. Now when they heard this, they were caught to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? This is a raw uh, 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 work of the Holy Spirit when Peter makes a powerful declaration. What shall we do? Secondly, it is so clear that I want you to know that the world needs to be upright in heart and they need to be in right standing with the righteous God through the mediator of the new covenant, which is Jesus Christ. And thirdly, the Holy Spirit works to make the world aware of the judgment and punishment that the devil and his cohorts, that awaits the devil and his cohorts. He does this so that men may be wary of listening to the devil and avoid being, command, uh, uh, and avoid being condemned in every aspect along with him. So how friendly are you with the Holy Spirit? It is a very vital question that we need to ask ourselves. How friendly are you with the Holy Spirit? Or do you love Him because He comforts you in the time of distress? Or do you love Him when He props into your life and reproves you? It's a personal question that I want you to think about throughout the day, but I encourage you to make the Holy Spirit your senior partner. Make him your guide. 
make him your mentor and also a confidant and he will never lead you to go astray in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for today. We exalt your name for the topic you lay in uh, before us, uh, in, in our hearts this, this day. We also pray, O oh God, King of glory, that you help us to build that solid relationship with the Holy Ghost. That in as much as he convicts us with, uh, of our wrongdoings, Lord will accept it and change for good. That at the end of the day, our spirit, soul, and body will be saved to eternity in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you listeners for staying with us on today's edition. Tomorrow promises to be great. Till we come your way tomorrow with another interesting edition. Bye for now.